Now let's analyze a link. Let's come over here and hover over this link. And what you can see right away is that Firepath gives me this XPath, which is pretty excellent because we have an ID. An ID, like I said, is always the best because it means that the element is unique. So we can use Selenium WebDriver to do buy.id and just supply this value that's right there. You can also use our favorite contains text function. And again, it's not my favorite here because it's too long for our purposes. This has an ID, might as well just use it. But if we wanted to, we just put that in here and then we hit enter and you guys see still identifies this link. And then obviously you can do by XPath and just pass in the exact string that our original Firepath query displayed, which is this. And looking at all of these again, you can see that the most simple one is ID. So you just do by dot ID and then you just supply the value like that. And that's it. You don't have to try to figure out an XPath. If you got an ID, take it. Next, let's talk about an icon. Have you guys worked with icons before? If you have and you've had trouble, now you will learn how to do it. So looking at this clickable icon, this is the initial path that is given to me. So I'll put that here. What else can we do here? Well, we see this has a class, right? So let's try using the class. So how would we do that? Remember class is an attribute. So if we get rid of all this and we don't care what tag it is, that's why there's that star there, but we do care that it's a class and that it has a value of this guy. And then we hit enter and it still maintains. The question is, does anything else have a class like this in here? I don't think so. And so we can do that, use this. And obviously you can do the by dot class name and then just pass in the value. And again, that is what I would probably use just because it's the most simple and you don't really have to do too much extra work.